Nowadays, many manufacturers, including Ivor Williams, such as this, Knott, Alco, and BPW, are using sealed bearings. The sealed bearings are like this. They're a two row bearing in one piece and they are designed to run at a specific torque. Uh, it's important to get the correct torque. If they are not torqued up correctly, it will drastically reduce the life of the bearing and the torques need to be rather high due to the design of the bearings. On an Ivor Williams, it's a bit different to any others, so that is why we have one in front of us to look at. Um, removing the hub is fairly straightforward, either a big bar or a heavy nut runner. And remove the nut. Once this nut is removed, due to the high torque, you are not supposed to use it again so it needs to be thrown away and replaced with a new one. The hub will then come off, there is no maintenance to be done on the bearing but every time the hub is removed the nut needs replacing. When it comes to inspecting all you can check is that there is no oils coming out and you can check for play and spin it to make sure the bearing isn't dry. Once reassembling the hub this needs to go back on. A new one shot nut needs to be uh, found and it needs spinning up till it's nearly touching. Once it's at this point it needs torquing up. There are various different torques. The Ivor Williams is probably the highest in the trailer industry and this is 350 newton meters. Once it's torqued up the Ivor Williams has two notches in the shaft and this needs a hammer and a chisel just to knock them in as extra security to make sure that it doesn't come undone. Other torques for other manufacturers are 280 newton meters for knot this is used on a P-series unbraked hub, an X-series 200 by 50 brake hub and a Y-series 250 by 40 brake hub. Alco give you a range from 280 newton meters to 300 newton meters we set this to 290 and that is for all of their hubs. Ivor Williams have two different one shot nuts, a black cap and a grey cap uh, hub. They are both torqued up to the 350 newton meters, but the black cap hub does not have the tabs to knock in. And BPW has two different size nuts, one with a 36 mil head that's torqued up to 280 newton meters and one with a 41 mil head and that's torqued up to 330 newton meters.